for the next problem. This is also a beautiful problem from HC Vama. I really love to solve problems from HC Vama sir because whenever I open some book of some foreigner or other guy, they will be saying some, I mean, according to their culture, they will be talking with the problems. But when we open HC Vama, he's an Indian author, especially having some village background. So we can see the smell in his questions. Huh? A popular game in this is also one such kind of question in Indian villages is goalie. Have you ever played this? Huh? I'm not a big player, but I have just seen it. Huh? Just played a little bit, which is played with small glass balls called goalies. The goalie of one player is situated at a distance of two meters from the goalie of the second player. So the goalie of one player is situated at a distance of two meters from the goalie of the second player. Very good. This second player has to project his goalie by keeping the thumb of the left hand at the place of his goalie, holding the goalie between his two middle fingers and make the throw. See, it is something like this. Keep the thumb in the place of goalie. Okay. Then you will hold the goalie between the two fingers. Then we will make the throw. Then we will make the throw. Right. So this is how it is done. Right. Making the throw. If the projector, if the projected goalie hits the goalie of the first player, the second player wins. If the height from which the goalie is projected is 19.6 centimeters from the ground and the goalie is to be projected horizontally, note this, the goalie is to be projected horizontally. How he projected it? He has given a horizontal velocity. Very good. With what speed should it be projected? Sorry, with what speed should it be projected so that the so that it directly hits the stationary goalie without falling on the ground earlier? See here, see here. See, I have one. Sorry. Ha. Let us say this is my ground. This is my ground. Don't be in a hurry, sir. Please be with me. Please be with me. Let us say this is the ground. Ha. I have two goalies. This is the goalie of the first player. This is, let us say, the goalie of the second player. Now, what's the distance between those two? Two meters, now. Ha, 2 meters is at a distance of 2 meters. So this distance is 2 meters. Now, what happened? This player has, which player has hit? Ha, this left hand makes a push. Okay, the second player is, if the projected goalie hits the goalie of the first player, the second player wins. Okay, fine, then we'll do one thing. A small change. Let us say this is the goalie of the first player this is the goalie of the first player this is the goalie of the second player now what the second player did he has taken his goalie into hands he has taken his goalie into hands now he kept the he kept the thumb here he kept the thumb here right. he kept the thumb here he kept the goalie here and hit it from what height from what height this height this is the second player when he is projecting this height from ground to here this height this height is given how much 19.6 centimeters am i right is that 19.6 centimeters right huh. now how is the projection made how is the projection made how is the projection made horizontally i have, I have already highlighted there it's made horizontally i don't know the velocity sir i don't know the velocity let us say some v some v okay now <coughs> Will it if it is going to hit the if it is going to hit this goalie? What should be the velocity? He's asking if I want this to hit it, what should be the velocity with which he should project it? Right? I can solve the problem in two methods. One is like simple x and y dividing problem. Projectile motion also is derived from the same concept, but using those formulas. First, I will do in a normal way so that you will feel the problem. Then we'll do with the formulas of projectile motion. First, see here, see here. Now I said very clearly. Now, what is the path it is going to follow? See, it is nothing but, it is nothing but, you see the projectile motion, you see the projectile motion. Now, let us say, let us say the ball is at the maximum height. What is the velocity the ball is having at the maximum height? What is the velocity the ball is having at the maximum height? Nothing but the horizontal velocity, horizontal velocity. And, earth will be pulling it with down with an acceleration to gravity g. Now, because of effect of these two, it will follow this path. It will follow this path. Now, forget this portion. Forget this portion. 
instead of projecting from here with an initial velocity u and making an angle theta now here it will be u cos theta some velocities are magnitude is different instead of projecting it from here I removed this portion and gave this velocity v, v. I gave this velocity v. So it will continue the same projectile motion. It will continue the same projectile motion. The second half will be continued. It will continue the second half of the projectile motion like this. Are you understanding me? So even I have shown when I am showing the first projectile motion how it goes. It is having the second half of it. It is at the maximum height. According to projectile motion, this is at the maximum height. Array. This is the maximum height and this is half of the range. This is half of the range. So now for the time being, forget it. We'll solve the normal way. What is the normal way? This is the initial condition. Whatever has been given for me, this is my initial condition and this is the final condition. Now, first what to do? What to do? Divide it into East Bengal and West Bengal, X and Y, X and Y. Now, first let us take in the X direction. Now let us, I think Y direction will give me the information. Okay, fine, we'll split it first. X direction, Y direction. <coughs> now, in X direction, what is the data I have? Initially, initially, the ball is projected with some velocity v. The ball is projected with some velocity v. I don't know how much, sir. I don't know how much. The initial velocity given is v. That's my target to find out. I don't know how much. The initial velocity given to the ball is v. Initially, this is important to the ball. In the horizontal direction. If it is in the horizontal direction, if the initial velocity in x direction is v, what is the initial velocity in y direction? Zero. Because it is projected horizontally. Next. Next acceleration in x direction sir once it is projected nobody is pushing it nobody is pulling it nobody is pushing nobody is pulling so it is zero in the x direction but what about y direction what about y direction earth is there earth is pulling it down earth is pulling it down with g with an acceleration of g so acceleration in y direction so acceleration in y direction is g plus g or minus g the ball is coming down earth is also pulling down so it is plus g next now what else i know how much distance it is going to cover in x direction nothing but huh see he told it is going to hit it that means by the time the ball falls down listen 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 by the time the ball falls down in 19.6 centimeters if i give less velocity it will fall here if i give more velocity it will go and fall here i should give exactly that v so that by the time it covers this 19.6 centimeters it should cover the two meters listen listen how long the ball can travel in the horizontal direction as long as the ball is moving in the vertical direction so if i have just to freely drop, drop it here it will cover this 19.6 centimeters in some time in that time it should cover this two meters if the velocity is less it will fall early it cannot hit it if it is more it will fall over so i should give that v exactly in this time it should cover the two meters that means in x direction the distance covered is two meters in y direction the distance covered is 19.6 centimeters i can write it as 0.196 meters all of you are there with me now now <coughs> i want this v I don't know the time here I have y with me g and initial velocity if I can get time from here then I can get v here so u a y known I want t what's the best formula s equal to u t plus half a t square in y direction it's covering a distance of 0.196 meters with an initial velocity zero plus half acceleration due to gravity so because it is 196 exactly given multiple of it so i have taken 0.981 so what's the time going to be Point one nine nine seconds. Let me check out once again. Point one nine six into two divided by nine point eight one. The root of answer, yes. 
so it's 0.199 seconds in this 0.1999 seconds what's happening the ball is irrespective of whatever is happening in y direction so irrespective of whatever is happening in x direction in y direction the ball is falling to the ground in 0.996 seconds sorry 0.199 seconds in that 0.199 seconds the ball should cover this two meters now this two meters right now again apply the same formula what is the formula so why i'm able to apply this s equal to d plus half a d square my acceleration is my acceleration is constant if acceleration is not constant if it is not constant then you cannot apply this here it is constant i can apply here also acceleration is zero that is nothing but a constant so you can still apply s equal to d plus half a d square as acceleration is zero it has gone now s is equal to how much two meters with an initial velocity how much i have given v v in a time of 0.199 seconds so velocity is approximately equal to how much 0.199 is nothing but 0.2 by 0.222 gone all approximately equal to 10 meter per second if you project with a velocity of 10 meter per second the ball will go and hit the second player the, sorry the second player ball will go and hit the first player the second player ball will go and hit the first player now please all of you see here see here i will do the same problem by using the technique of my what is this by using the technique of my Mm, this one what is that huh. <coughs> projectile motion now please see let us say let us say this is the second half of the projectile motion virtually virtually i am imagining the remaining are virtually i am imagining the remaining portion like this let us say this is the remaining portion I have projected this with an initial velocity u making an angle theta. I have projected this with an initial velocity u making an angle theta. I have projected this with an initial velocity u making an angle theta. Let us say this is my ground. I have projected with an initial velocity u making an angle theta. So at this, I want only this half. At this point, what is the velocity v is nothing but equal to how much? u cos theta. So if I know u and theta, I can get v. u and theta, I can get v. But what is the information I have? This maximum height is 0.196 meters. And this range is how much? Half of the range is given how much? 2 meters. So full range is how much? 4 meters. That means maximum height h max is equal to, what's the formula? u square sine square theta by 2g is equal to 0.196 meters. And range r is equal to, what's that? What u square uh, u square sine 2 theta by g is equal to 4 now from these two formulas if i can get u and theta or u cos theta i can get v now let us go and solve that i will divide these two here sir i will divide these two here if i divide these two here please all of you see u square u square numerator numerator in the denominator g g next what is there sine 2 theta can be written as i'll write down see sine square theta by 2 into huh sine 2 theta can be written as 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to huh 0 0.196 by 4 this is as usual sine theta square gone Two twos are four. Four gone. So what I'm left with? Sine theta by cos theta. That is nothing but tan theta equal to 0.196. So what's the angle theta going to be? <coughs> so I got the angle as around 11.089 degrees or 11 degrees. Let us say 11.08 degrees. So if I know the angle. Can I get what's this? U. Now substitute in this. U or I will go with this. U square from the range formula. U square into sine 2 theta. That is sine 2 into 11.08 by G. Let us say 9.81 is equal to 4. Now from this, what will be my U? So send that side. 4 into 9.81 divided by sine 2 theta that is 2 into 11.08 so and the root of this will give me 
u is equal to 10.199 meter per second but i don't want u i want what v equal to u cos theta the maximum height it is u cos theta so u is how much 10.199 into cos of angle is how much 11.08 so into cos of 11.08 so approximately again this is also 10 meter per second so either you can do separately as x and y or you can use the projectile concept and also solve the problem it is your wish so if it is x and y by the time it falls it should cover this distance that's only the concept separate it into x and y initially you separate it into x and y and combine here wherever you want or you use the formulas of projectile so half of the projectile and solve it okay I'll go for the next problem without this is also some previous year question not in gate but somewhere a ball is thrown horizontally from a height of 20 meters a ball is thrown horizontally from a height of 20 meters and hits the ground with a speed that is three times its initial speed very good what is the initial speed now please all of you see here what is given let us say this is my ground this is my ground from a height of 20 meters from a height of how much 20 meters a ball is thrown how is it thrown horizontally let us say the initial velocity u okay and hits the ground with a speed that is so if i throw horizontally due to acceleration due to gravity it will start going down and it will follow a projectile path and by the time it hits the ground it hits the ground see definitely it will gain some velocity in y direction so because of that it is having something i don't know the angle at what direction but it is having some velocity v which is how much three times the initial speed three times the initial speed so initially i have taken it as u horizontally with u by the time it reaches here it has become 3u very good now what is the initial speed please all of you listen 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 so in x direction in x direction have i given have i given any any acceleration no it is just projected so there's no acceleration so even after hitting the ground even after hitting the ground even after hitting the ground the velocity in x direction is going to be the same u that velocity in x direction is going to be the same u let us say this angle is theta let us say this angle is theta and this is my remaining velocity in y direction this is the final velocity in x direction is the same u final velocity in y direction i don't know but the resultant of these two will should give me 3u right and this height is 20 meters now what is he asking find the initial speed i want to find out u now please listen listen if the ball falls by a height of 20 meters if the ball falls by a height of 20 meters that means first let us solve in the y direction let us solve in the y direction huh what's the initial velocity in y direction what's the initial velocity in y direction huh zero what's the acceleration in y direction that is nothing but acceleration due to gravity g what's the distance travel 20 meters now i want what is the final velocity in y direction so what's a beautiful formula when i know when i want these four terms without time huh v square minus u square equal to 2 a s final velocity i don't know initial velocity is 0 2 acceleration to gravity i'm taking it as 10 into 20 so what's the final velocity v y equal to 20 into 20 so it is 20 meter per second so this is 20 this is u and the resultant of these two is 3u so what's the resultant going to be now huh v square this final velocity v square is nothing but equal to under root of v x square plus v y square so 3u whole square oh god v is equal to sorry v equal to under root of v x square plus v y square now what i will do is i will send this root this side 3u square is equal to v x what is v x see whatever the initial velocity are given there is no acceleration acceleration in x direction is zero so anywhere you take it is u u u so it is same u so that u square plus what is the velocity in y direction by the time it falls this 20 meters by the time it falls this 20 meters the velocity it has gained is also 20 meter per second okay so here it matches are okay so that is 20 whole square now 
3 u square that is 9 u square minus u square 8 u square is equal to 20 square 20 square in the sense 400 so 4 twos are 400 sir 2 1s are 2 50s are directly 50s right u equal to root 50 meter per second so tell me what is this u going to be <coughs> seven point seven sounds of 49 okay 7.07 .07 meter per second nearly seven meter per second the last question huh <coughs> The equation of trajectory of an object projected with initial velocity u and angle theta with the horizontal is what do you mean by equation of trajectory? So, if suppose, if suppose, what is this? I have projected in an xy plane that is a Cartesian coordinate system. Let us say from the origin, I have projected it with an initial velocity u making an angle theta. So, he is asking what is the equation for this path? 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 He is asking what is the equation for this path? That is y as a function of x. y as a function of x. y as a function of x. Now tell me what to do. It's a very simple one, sir. See. Anytime, whatever might be the problem, the best thing for a 2D problem is split it into x direction. What's the velocity in x direction? U cos theta. What's the velocity in y direction? U sin theta. Initially, it is at z origin. So, x equal to 0, y equal to 0. Next, what about the acceleration? Huh? It's having only acceleration due to gravity g downwards. So, acceleration in y direction is z plus g or minus g it's in the opposite direction so minus g and what about acceleration in x direction that is zero it is going to be zero now please all of you see here in x direction huh? initial velocity is u cos theta acceleration is zero and initially it is at the origin let us say after time t, after some time t, where is it going to be? The best formula is x equal to ut plus half a t square. Acceleration is 0. So, x equal to u cos theta into t. x equal to u cos theta into t. Similarly, what is happening in y direction? The initial velocity in y direction is u sin theta. Acceleration is minus g. After time t, where is the particle going to be? Where is the particle going to be? Huh? Y equal to u y t plus half a y t square. So y equal to huh? u sin theta into t. Acceleration is minus g. So it is minus half g t square. So this is at any time t, this is the position of x coordinate, this is the position in x direction, this is the position in y direction. So this is the x coordinate, this is y coordinate. So time will not have separate x and y, so both the times are same. So from this equation, if I get t equal to x by u cos theta and substitute that and eliminate t, so what is that going to come? y equal to u sin theta into x by u cos theta minus half g x by u cos theta whole square now <coughs> u u gone so what i'm left with y equal to huh sin theta by cos theta is tan theta x tan theta minus huh uh, what is that g by 2u square cos square theta into x square okay so what's the answer going to be x tan theta minus g by 2u square cos square theta into x square so we got an equation x and y in terms of theta and u so with the help of u and theta so if an object is projected with an initial velocity u making an angle theta the equation of this curve the equation of this curve is nothing but equal to how much 
y as a function of x, y equal to x tan theta minus g by 2 u square cos square theta into x square. What I did? I have taken some random position. Let us say it is at some random position x comma y after t. I found out x and y and eliminated t. At, after some time t, it is somewhere on the path. I don't know. I have randomly taken x comma y at t. I found out x. I have found out y and eliminated t from them and I got the equation of the trajectory. Okay. Hope you have gained some knowledge from my lecture. If you feel so, please subscribe to the channel. Please leave your valuable feedback and doubts in the comment section. For my complete video lecture series, enroll in Octomy. Thank you. Let's catch you soon in Octomy. Have a good day.